Hello class, this is Dr. Green. I just wanted to do a short video uh, for you to show you how the class is organized and help you get started. So I'm on the course homepage here, and if you scroll down, uh, just above the weekly starting points here are the link for the guided notes. So uh, this is a uh, almost a course pack here. It's a a PDF file that you should either save or print. If you like taking notes by print, I would go ahead and print it. And it's going to help you follow along, be more organized, make note taking easier, and then help navigate the course. Uh, so do that first. That looks like this. So this is the PDF file. So it has cues in there. You know, which video should I watch? Um, here's the first example. You can fill it in along with me with a short video clip. And then when you get done with that, you work a corresponding homework problem, homework 1.1, problem one. So here's where the video material is located. You're going to click on week one, sampling and data. Uh, if you scroll down here, you've got readings. Um, I would uh, download the open source textbook that's free. Uh, your readings will be in there. If you just download the whole thing, you'll uh, have it right there. These are links to the um, sections on the web. Visual materials in here. So you're going to click on this link, Week 1 Guided Notes and Video Segments. That's going to take you to this page. Now it says print page here, but if you print that, that's going to look just like the guided notes that I uh, suggested you print earlier. So you're going to scroll down, click the forward arrow, and you'll have a, your overview. Scroll down, click forward arrow again, and then this will take you into the video segments. So here's that um, section 1.1, example 1. So here's the video, embedded it. Um, here's the questions that are inside the example. Those are these questions here. Uh, now it does have a place here where you can type your answers in here and then you can click submit to check your answers. Um, that's not uh, worth credit, so that's not points there, that's just to double check yourself. Uh, the important thing is that you fill in your answers here in the guided notes and you work through the example with me in the video. And then when you complete that example, you're going to work uh, homework 1.1 problem 1. So, and it uh, cues you down here also, homework 1.1, problem one. So where is the homework? Well, if you click on uh, course modules here, I've already got that tab open. So in this uh, first module, week one, um, here the guided notes with video segments. Let me put this in student view. Uh, let's see, not sure why it's, Telling me access denied. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to click to modules. So the guided notes with video segments, that's where we are right here. Uh, you've got, well, here's all your assignments for the week. Homework are down here. So homework's linked there. Um, we do have this first week a couple of discussions, class introduction, and then misleading statistics. But yeah, under the modules there, if you click, that's all your assignments for the week laid out. Let's go ahead and click on homework 1.1. And we're going to click um, resume quiz. I had actually already opened it once to make sure that it opened. And here's that question one, which is like example one that you just worked through um, in the guided notes video. So uh, what I would like to suggest that students do is uh, take this tab for the homework here and pull it off. So if you drag it down, it'll detach, separate window. Then take that by the header, hard drag it to the right, and it'll take up a half screen, and then put your guided notes on the left. So then you can watch the video and fill in your notes with me here, and then when it prompts you to um, complete a homework problem here. You just switch over, complete that problem. And then once you complete that problem, you're going to go back to your guided notes and you're going to work through example two. Uh, again, this is what's in the guided notes. 
So those example, those definitions are right here. So you don't have to write them down. They're already down. You just can make notes on the side, things that I say during the video that you think you need to remember. You're going to work through an example with me, filling in the steps as you go. And then you're going to work homework problem one, um, 1 1.1 problem 2, um, which is right here. So you'll go back and forth between the screen with the video content and the screen with the homework. Um, as you do an example with me, then you'll complete a homework problem that's just like it. Now when we get uh, to our exams, we'll have, oh, also homework uh, assignments, you get three submissions here. So uh, it'll save your work as you go along. Once you complete the homework assignment, submit it. It'll tell you which ones you got wrong. If you got something wrong, you can work through it again. And you get up to three submissions per homework assignment. You can improve your score. It'll keep the highest score. Now, when we get, um, when we get to the first exam, there are three exams, open book, open notes. I'm gonna click back to modules here. So that first exam is coming up end of uh, week two. So you'll see exam two at the end of week two. Now for each exam, there will be a practice exam linked just above it and an answer key. So this is a copy of an old exam that should be very similar to the actual exam. So I encourage you to work through that practice exam and then check your answers with the key. Now, um, I will also add a video link uh, later on here just before um, it's time to take that exam and you'll be able to see me working through the problems on the practice exam. And I encourage you to work through that practice exam with me before you take the actual exam. So even though it's open book, open notes, um, you'll find that you do better in the course if you actually spend some time going over the material and studying, you know, even if it's just an hour. Uh, it's going to help summarize everything, put it in one place so you're not digging around for your resources when you're getting ready to take the exam. So as you're taking that exam, I would recommend after you've worked through this that you, you know, keep that practice exam key handy because there will be similar problems on the actual exam. And then if there's a formula sheet, that'll also be linked above the exam. So that's the main setup of the course. If you follow the, you know, the guided notes here, if you follow your guided notes, that's exactly what's in uh, the video segments in Canvas, and then follow the prompts to do the corresponding homework problems. Uh, that's going to take you through things in order um, that they occur, except for discussions. You know, each week we'll have a weekly discussion here. So that's all I have. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. You have my email, and uh, if it's a summer version of the course, you'll also have my cell phone. I, I hope you get off to a great start.